What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? This is uh, Mr. Warmack, as you can see. And today I'm going to talk about something that uh, is going to have you scratch your head like um, old boy here. Let's bring out, hey, Jonathan, you want to make your uh, cameo appearance? Do your thing that you do. Today I'm going to talk about something that uh, you'll be doing this too because you're going to see, you're going to wonder how it plays out. Today I'm going to talk about, here we go, after Jonathan, see, Jonathan, good luck, President Nigeria, thank you for showing up. Three, two, one, there we go. We're going to talk about today about uh, Barack Obama, President Barack Obama had, um, was in Cleveland, uh, a week ago, where this will now, depending on when I do this video, it was in, in March. The end of March, he was in Cleveland, and he addressed uh, like a like a town hall event, saying that um, he he wants to have a transformative quote unquote idea. He wants to make uh, voting mandatory for citizens. Now, in dozens of states, there's been a recent push to curtail voting rights and block Americans' access to the polls. Mostly southern states, but there now the pushback is um, now it's just to make it a provocative idea, and and this would, this would help I think personally. I think it would be, it would be more competitive, but it'd be more crooked. I think the Democrats probably would uh, get get more. I think he's setting it up. For, uh, what's old Hillary here? Old Hillary there for the election uh, in 2016. Cause look at it this way, if people start coming out. Imagine all the people on the on the government rolls coming out. Imagine all the people who could get some type of aid from the government come out and vote. I mean, it would just change the political map. I mean, and you know how. And, and, and then, and here's the problem. I, I mean, here's the problem I would have. It's bad enough that we have uh, bad political procedures, election procedures. But imagine if everybody had, everybody was forced to vote. Imagine how much worse it would be. You know, it's a good idea, but uh, I think a lot of uh, a lot of nuts with the propaganda, you know, will start screaming tyranny. And he's trying to be a king, but it's like the voter fraud. I mean, that, would that shoot up? How would you go about this? Like, bad enough now that people make excuses why they can't get, get to the polls. What are you going to do? Pay for charter buses to drive people who can't get to the polls to the polls? Are you going to make it more of an online thing where they can do it from the, to access to their phone or their uh, computer, per se? Uh, but there's a reason why that, uh, you know, some people want to keep other people from the polls unless they can win the election. And that's a tactic on both sides. So this, I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to let the Democrats come here and say, well, the Republicans have been doing that since 19, 1902. No, it hasn't been like that. And, and, and during the, whenever the big deal with Stephen A. Smith thing is when the Republicans were liberal and the, and the, and the Democrats were conservative. FYI, quit mentioning the KKK every five minutes because the KKK was Democratic. But let me get back to what I was saying. Uh, I'm like, like I said, the president didn't endorse this change to vote, but he 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 basically he didn't he didn't have a serious tone. He he more or less did as an offhand, a flippant remark, you know. But he, I mean, but of course he said it here in Ohio. But if you look at it around the world, there's many countries that um, like like Australia. One of our friends in the war on terror, and one of our friends overall. Australia is one of the modern democracies. To have embrace, they embrace it apparently. Like they have compulsory voting, where you have to vote. The likelihood of that happening right now, it ain't gonna happen. So I mean, not them getting anybody nervous because it's not gonna happen anytime soon. But uh, at least you know it, it raises the question: Is mandatory voting, like I just said, is mandatory voting worth it? Is it is it an idea? Is it a credible idea? Is it, is it an idea that will work in this country? Now, you, Australia may have mandatory voting, but Australia is, like, I think, the, uh, the uh, combined California and Texas, you beat Australia as far as population. That's different. So, I don't know. You know, compulsory voting or mandatory voting work at the, probably the, 
it'll increase voter turnout, don't get me wrong. But uh, people, well, like I said, how you going to avoid the long lines? Like, I know how it was when I vote, how it is. You know, sometimes there's long lines, but I, I, I pick, like, depending on my work schedule or if I don't work that day, I'm going to go early in the morning, there's no lines. But then again, if there's people that are unemployed, there's people that are on getting some type of government check, people that, I mean, if they want to bust people in at certain times or you have to be here by a certain time, like I said, there's going to be long lines. You never know. I mean, it's not in mandatory voting. It isn't going to help the Democrats or Republicans one way or the other. It, I mean, they're all they're all the same crooks. <laughs> not nah, just to be interjecting, but uh, it would mean that more Americans views to be represented in government. So it'd be, you know, it's, it, it would have somewhat of a more of a economical, you know, voice if you want. If you the less the less the disadvantaged. Would have some sort of a voice. They would have be a block, so it'd be you know, they'd be somebody who you have to cater to. Also, you know, you could just ignore the needs of the say so like people getting food stamps. If you may, if you force them to vote, you just couldn't just give them a two cent raise on their food stamps and they have parties every night. Now you got to cater them and say what what are you going to do for us to get your vote? It's kind of like like all, that way to me would be like blackmail. Seriously, coming from that, when you're getting something for free and you want to say, what are you going to do for us? Like, you ain't doing nothing to begin with. You, you get free food stamps. And I'm only talking about the people who are doing this. I'm only talking about the people who, who work hard and this happened from, from unforeseen circumstances have to be laid off. Because, like I said, I've seen it where people been people. there's lots of people that are trying to get off welfare and get off food stamps. But the people, the, a lot of the people, the majority of the people are making it ruin it for the other for the other folks who actually want to get off it. Because you look at these work programs, and I'm, I'm sorry I want to go off on a tangent for a quick second here. You look at some of these work programs, they hire the laziest bastards. They don't hire the people that are this, you know, that had a consistent work history. They'll hire somebody that just been getting stamps for 20 years, and they make it seem like it was a big success for them. So, I it just, it's sorry about going off on a tangent. I just, you know, I just, just, just had to do that. But, uh, also, you know, I just, I just, I just feel mandatory voting. I mean, I give Barack Obama credit for trying. I mean, for just throwing it out there. But when you think about it overall, there's just a lot of logistical. I mean, it's just, it's a lot of hurdles across. And then you gotta, I mean, it's just then you gotta like that's that's but that's where the territorial maps as far as like the districts and all, that's where that would come to play. Then they would have to really redraw maps because now more people are coming out to vote and some some geographical locations are split. And it might be more, say, say it's a heavily Democratic population, but maybe the Republicans in that district don't vote a lot because they know it's going to be a Democratic position. Now if it's mandatory, with all of a sudden you got people from a Republican moving out to that way, like maybe like you're moving to the suburbs and it, it well, once was a Democratically thing is not Republican. So it, it works for both ways for both parties. I mean, me personally, I would think that would be your duty. I mean, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't complain about it. Me, personally, I wouldn't complain about mandatory voting. And personally, we should let, our, let people who serve their debt to society, we, they, should, they should vote too. That's just my opinion. So, um, I just want to give you guys a heads up. It's nothing big. Obama was just throwing stuff out. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And, uh,